Unite gave evidence on behalf of our members at Thomas Cook who have been so badly let down with the collapse of the company. They've lost their jobs, they've lost their livelihoods, their families are suffering and the question is why did it happen and how could it have been prevented from happening? Currently, Condor in Germany is still flying. It's a wholly owned subsidiary of Thomas Cook. Uh, Thomas Cook Balearics is still flying. Uh, Thomas Cook in Sweden is still flying. All of these businesses are able to be flying because of the arrangements that they have in their country, which could have applied here. Therefore, we, are, we believe we should find out why did we not learn the lessons that we learned from Monarch. But for our members, we want to say we think they should not be in the position that they're in. We wanted them to continue to be paid so that they, that they are not owed their wages. We wanted to manage what could have been a, a purchase of that company. They've had none of the wages because that goes into the being a creditor. It is absolutely outrageous. It's money they're owed. What they have done of everywhere apart from Northern Ireland there's been a delay they have received their redundancy payments okay. and that has been speeded up and we really pay tribute to people for doing that when we raised the alert that did happen however there is still the issue in Northern Ireland that has not happened but also this is only the starting point they are still owed money and from our experience with Monarch we know that it can take months and months for that money to be released the protective award we don't think that should be contested legally. There are questions here for the Department for Transport. There are questions here about why was the airline insolvency review not followed. There are questions here about why Thomas Cook Airlines in Germany, in Scandinavia, in the Balearics are still able to fly and why their governments have been able to support in a way that the UK government has not. We need answers and our members and their families and their communities need answers too.